Good morning, baby. How oh, are oh, oh, they're watching an ant's life. Your dogs. Are <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Want to go see Mama? Oh, sweet girl. Hi, Emma. She's so confused. She's like, why are we here? <laughs> why are we here? You little cutie. Are you watching the show? Is that puppy? All she cares about right, right. is the movie. Is that puppy? <laughs> Bobo? Oh, Bobo. Can you say? Bella Emma. Bobo. He said, She's got lots of Bobos, huh? How does she do with them? She likes them? Oh, yeah. Well, Belle's a Oh, Belle's kind of crazy. Yeah. Addie, but Addie. She them in she's the so crazy yeah. with Addie. Addie like, trying to get she's so, all of them. She's just so She's soft. gentle now, yeah. She, just, she, goes like, she goes like this. She goes... <laughs> oh, yeah, her little shake. And then she... And then she looks at you like, did I do okay? <laughs> For a little shake. She had a rough night last night. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. I'm doing okay with it. From 12.30 till probably 5 o'clock. Oh my gosh, yep. Yeah. That was the night before too. She and was I, struggling. I think grandma was delirious because it was. I could see that it was light outside. So I figured it was like 7-ish. And I heard her and I went in and grabbed her and never looked at the clock. It was 6.25. It's all good. So That's usually when she wakes up. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, Emma, are you calling for somebody? I don't want to cancel it. I'll make you can just say that's fine. that was an accident. Whoops. Oh, oh you gonna have Mama do it? Thank you. <laughs> She's such a good girl. She was so much fun. We had so much fun yesterday with her all day. Thank good. You. It was actually hard to put her to bed. Oh, last let's not night. play with that, okay? We gotta pull that out of Mama's arm. I miss you, little Mama. Oh, it's on. not like used, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you miss Dada? Can I help you? I'm sorry, that was a mistake. Oh, that's okay. Oh, she miss you too, Dada. <laughs> She's probably so good. <laughs> She did. I didn't get one. <laughs> Does Daddy need to have it on his back too? Oh, did you put it on your back? Hers. Oh, I didn't know she had one. Oh, uh, what? With Daddy's scratchy beard? Or what? <laughs> you ready to go home, Mama? Oh, hi, sweet girl. Hi, mama. Hey, baby. Oh, you just love puppies. You love puppies. Hi, come here. Emma, can I have a hug? Emma, come here. No. Emma, come here. Hi. Come here. Oh, thank you, cutie. <laughs> like an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Bobo. Hey, Bobo. How you doing, buddy? You making friends out here? Are you making friends, Bobo? With your cousins? Come on, Daddy. Oh, I missed it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I missed this guy so much. I, I haven't really seen him since Friday. Oh, <laughs> I missed you. I did. Your mama or what, buddy? <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, so, oh gosh, this is hard lighting right now. Um, we are home from the hospital. So, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. And we had a clip at the beginning of this vlog, and I accidentally deleted it when I was going through older footage from like a couple days ago. But basically, I was at summer summer camp winter camp this weekend tired. with our church. I left Friday and I was supposed to come home Sunday afternoon. And um, basically Saturday night at camp around like five, I was rushed to the ER up in Lake Arrowhead because I was vomiting. I had lower right, sorry, lower left side back pain. Mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't get comfortable. I just, 
I immediately was like, it feels like what I used to get when I had kidney stones. So they rushed me to the ER. Um, it was not a big hospital. And Justin met me there, which is about two hours from home. So he came all the way up there and then he drove me back down to our hospital because they wanted to transport me via ambulance to a different one. Oh. But we wanted to go to our hospital where we know the doctors, where we're close to pay home. For that. One ambulance ride. So basically they gave me morphine so that I could go Thank home. You. Um, and we went straight to labor and delivery at home because they didn't have a labor and delivery there. We wanted to make sure the twins were okay. So we go there thinking I have a UTI because that's what they that's told what me they at told the first place and that we're going to get antibiotics and go home. Mm -hmm. But then they decided to keep us overnight there because they just, they just didn't know what was, was going on. They wanted to monitor the twins. I was still vomiting. I was still in pain. Stuff was just... And so they just yeah. had you on morphine mm -hmm. all night through the night. Yeah. And then the morphine stopped working and I was in like excruciating pain the next morning again. So they did some ultrasounds because you can't do much when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. And they found um, a stone on my left side again. So apparently I'm just prone to these. It's not, not again. Now it's on your left side. The other the one was on my right, right side. side. Yeah. So, and that's been less than a year since my first, or my last one was in July. Yeah. So apparently I'm just prone to them. It has nothing to do with my like eating habits. It has to do with my body <laughs> is a stone producing body. And um, they saw in the ultrasound that it's like, they can't really say how big it is because ultrasounds aren't super accurate for stones. The CT scan is the only thing that's super accurate and mm -hmm. they can't do that. But they said it looks large because if it wasn't large, you wouldn't be able to see it at all on the ultrasound. So we don't really know what size we're looking at. But and they if said, it wasn't large, it wouldn't be blocking your ureter. Yeah, it's either. blocking my ureter. And so both of my kidneys are kind of swollen because the fluid is building up. And that's why I'm in so much pain on my left side specifically. So the main goal for yesterday and today was pain management at the hospital via IV. So they were keeping me on some IV pain meds, but obviously I can't just stay at the hospital for the next eight to 10 weeks on IV meds. So the goal for the day was to get me on to um, oral pain management so that I can take those at home over the next couple of weeks and hopefully wean off of them because I don't want to be taking a lot of yeah. pain meds with the twins. But we were at the hospital until today. So we stayed two nights overnight there um, it's just been a long last couple of days, obviously. And right now, there's a lot of things they wanted to do that they couldn't. So they wanted to transport me via ambulance to Radies in San Diego to, I always forget the name of the procedure. I'm going to put it here, but basically something like that. They put a tube in your back to drain the fluid and you don't get put down for that. Put down, put under for that. Yeah. Um, and it's can be risky when you're pregnant so we don't we want to avoid it at all mm, costs we'll see and it's our fine. hospital won't do it so you have to be at um a hospital they said they're either gonna transfer way. us to san diego if we have to do it yeah san diego or like loma linda area are the two places nearby that do it mm. so we're trying to avoid that and hoping that the pain pills that they give me are able to like not like take they're not going to take away the pain um, they're gonna well, we make get it you on manageable. Flomax if it's possible. Yeah, they want to see they if want, I can pass it. The urologist has to determine whether or not it's safe for her to take Flomax, mm -hmm. and he wants to just flush this freaking thing out of her. They just don't think it's super uh, likely because the last one I had I couldn't pass, and that was so a six we'll millimeter. So. <clears throat> so the plan is to stay home and be on pain medication. Um, to see the urologist again this week to see his perspective on what his opinion, what you know, because right now he would love the same thing that we would love, which is to not have to have the surgery. And then follow up with my OB mm -hmm. to see if we need to induce earlier than we had anticipated, because if the pain doesn't go away, like there's nothing they can do. Yeah. And it's like, you guys know, you guys have had kidney stones. I know I've seen your comments. It's just like unbearable, yeah. sobbing, just terrible. And I can't like, I can't deal with that pain for another eight weeks. So we'll talk to the doctor, we'll figure out a plan, but it's been a long couple of days, unexpected obviously, and 
we're trying to figure out this week what it's gonna look like because when I'm on this pain pill, I'm like, it's like a narcotic, right? You can't do anything. Can't it makes anywhere. me tired, you can't drive. You can't do anything. So I can't take Emma to like speech. So we're trying to figure out this week. Luckily his parents have been in town, Thank which God. has been super helpful. And Kaylee has been super helpful mm -hmm. and other friends and everything. All our friends are super supportive. But um, that's like as much as we can really say right now. So I'll basically it just comes down to, I have another kidney stone and there's absolutely not much we can do about it at the time because I'm pregnant. So hopefully we can get these babies big and plump and um, they come Hopefully out not. healthy if they come out early mm -hmm. and that that we can get this pain under control because it's been miserable mister in the background <laughs> anyways i'm happy to be home regardless yeah, of the pain because i haven't been home since friday today's monday night and i've just been missing emma and yeah. sleeping in a camp bed and then a hospital bed and justin's sleeping on a hospital couch because he's stubborn and he won't lay the bed <clears throat> out all flat and get more it's comfortable. that way. Really? Mm -hmm. That's weird. But anyways. I like to tuck into the side of the couch. That's good. So I'm going to try and get some sleep because I haven't really slept. And I finally ate for the first time in like two days because mm -hmm. the pain pills and medicine make you nauseous. So you don't want to eat. But sorry I deleted the earlier clip. So this is like the best update I can give. But... I'm happy to be home. If you guys <clears throat> want to know like more information sooner, you can probably follow me on Instagram because I feel like I update better there than on here, like right mm -hmm. away. So that's it. And let Dustin get some rest too because he's been exhausted. He drove all the way to like Arrowhead. Yeah, freaking homework. Yeah, and then I have so I'm behind on so do. much work, but I just have to wait to get up on it because I can't really do anything right today. So. Yeah. We'll talk to you guys again soon, give you an update as soon as we can, mm -hmm. and what the URL just says and all that, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Stars in the city lights, right